to Star Trek Online players. We're Starbase UGC, the premier source for all things related to the Foundry within Star Trek Online. If you're like we were, you have no clue where to start your Foundry adventure. But never fear! That's why we're here, to help people just like you learn and understand the ins and outs of making Foundry content for cryptic games. First, let's start with how to actually play a Foundry mission. Here's my character. As you probably already know, you can see an overview of your next playable missions by clicking on the Hail Starfleet button, which looks like the Starfleet Delta logo in the top right corner of your screen. The link to the Foundry missions is... not here. Yet, yeah, at least. Don't worry, it'll take us just a little bit of digging before we can find it. Click on the Available tab. From here, you'll see a list of contacts with actual missions from Cryptic. However, what we're interested in is the Community Authored tab on the left-hand side of the window. And here she is, Foundry Missions. Click the arrow to drop down a menu to search for other missions. You can search from Top Rated Missions to Hot Missions and even New Missions. Also, you can search by a mission's name or the name of your favorite Foundry author. However, even if you search for new missions under this category, you're not really seeing the newest missions. Here, let me show you. At the bottom of this window is a button that says Become Reviewer. Clicking on this button will present you with a disclaimer, and accepting this disclaimer means that yes, you are 18 years of age or older, and are willing to review some of the latest Foundry missions available. This also means that you're willing to flag inappropriate missions that have inappropriate content or simply missions that have content that violate the end user license agreement. This can include any likeness such as Patrick Stewart's or William Shatner's. Simply mentioning any character from the shows or books, however, is not a violation of the EULA. Don't flag a mission that you merely don't like. That's not its purpose. Once a newly published mission has five reviews, it graduates from this tab and moves to the Community Author tab for all people to play. Now, let's talk about rating missions and proper etiquette therein. The people making Foundry missions are players, just like you. They may not know exactly what's wrong with their mission and they may need help. Leaving constructive pointers, like where a mission has spelling errors or grammar errors, makes an excellent review that helps the author improve their mission. If you simply want to give the mission a star rating, but not leave a full text review, you can do that. Don't feel like you need to fill the box up with A's or D's or W's just to leave some kind of feedback. That's not the way it works. If you are unable to complete a mission for any reason, whether a glitch or a bug, sometimes that's not the author's fault. There can be code problems with the foundry itself, and in that case, it's probably better not to review the mission and leave a permanent downvote on an author's work that may improve over time once he's fixed it. In such a case, it's better to write down the author's name, X out of the window without leaving a review, and then send the author a private message filled with helpful constructive feedback that will help him make his mission better. Even simply knowing that you could not find the beginning point for the mission, or how to end it, can be huge information that the author doesn't already know. Thanks for joining us at StarbaseUGC.com. We'll include some video tutorials on how to actually start creating your own Foundry missions in the text below. Feel free to make an account on our website and join the chat room or follow a lot of us on Twitter. We're a friendly bunch and we'll be happy to help you in your Foundry endeavors. The Final Frontier is yours to create.